I recently had a patient who had come to me, Dilkinder Surakh. So, her ASD was closed. She uh, was having difficulty breathing. She wasn't able to carry out her work and whatever. Mashallah, se, she got the operation done. After operation, ke baad, she went back. A few days ago, she sent me a video where she was hiking a, a hilltop and she was like, this is all possible because of you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Hina Inam. I am in the hospital in the Department of Surgery of Cardiothoracic Surgeon. Hu. What sparked this was, um, I was an intern here and this one day um, we used to have uh, sessions where um, we were told that all interns would have to go to the OR or um, they would be given this opportunity of doing this or not me. I remember it was my last day here as an intern. My chief, who is now a cardiothoracic surgeon in NICVT, Dr. Ali Mangi, he calls me up and he's like, Hina, come, there is a not me for you. And um, I was like, Achha. I went there, th this was um, a, uh, a cabbage that was being done. He made me do the incision, do a sternotomy, and the first time I saw the heart, I fell in love. So as a cardiothoracic surgeon, our bread and butter is coronary artery bypass grafting, yani bypass surgery, which is called bypass surgery. Amoom when you have people who have a heart attack, which is called heart attack. The most common thing is this. Besides that, we do valves surgery, valves of valves, 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 valves of in a, as a cardiothoracic surgeon. Karte so as a resident, I remember this one time where um, I was in my pediatric surgery rotation when we were pediatric and children's surgery. Um, we had a child who had an operation kiya tha for a fontan and um, post-operatively the patient who had crashed. Um, I remember my attending was Dr. Mahi Makmal, who is also a cardiothoracic surgeon at RIC right now. Um, I remember we never gave, on, uh, gave up on that kid. Um, us, but the bacha crashed like several times, uske par multiple times CPR karna pada. Ek time to the CPR lasted like more than half an hour and um, but we never gave up. I remember um, bacha ka kafi lamba course gaya hospital se wo jab wo discharge hua. Um, uske discharge hone ke ek mahine ke baad Dr. Mahim ka mujhe ek message aata hai jisme ek bacha tha jo ke sahil samandar pe khada tha. Uske piche ek oor tha aur uske abu ne thank you karke bheja tha. So it just gave me hope that, you know, the kind of work that we do and what impact we have on patients. Um, so surgery isn't um, something that's um, aside from my life, so it's become a part of my life. So um, I've always, yes, there are times where you don't get time to um, eat, you don't get time to sleep but um, I've always maintained a balance in a sense that there are things that I do aside from surgery. I love paintings, I love um, reading, I love my family. So I try to make um, time for everyone. Um, there's one thing that I was taught um, as a resident as well um, by one of my mentors um, is whatever you like, you'd like to, you would make time for that. And you usually do. Work-life balance is all in your hand. You can pick and choose what you want to do at that particular time. Morning really start really really early. Um, I am an early riser. I wake up, pray, and then um, study if possible. And then um, I head to work. Um, at work, obviously, there's rounds that I do first. Rounds ke baad, hamara ek academic session hota for an hour. Um, and then uske baad, you uh, go ahead and do a, an operation or um, whoever is on the list. So you go ahead and meet them Make them comfortable ke bhai, um, you're about to go ahead and um, the surgery is going to be done. And then we start off. And once the surgery is done post-operatively, we shift the patient to the CICU. Maha, we manage the patient ke bhai sab kuch stable hai, everything's okay, family ko counsel karte hai. Um, because this is an academic hospital, so we have other academic duties that we have to do as well. Um, either um, teach students, teach residents, um, do clinics, and then um, you end your day with either um, a, a teaching uh, session that you've had or a career counseling session and that's about it. Um, yes, mentorship is really very important because mentor is somebody that um, who's been through all the um, hackles of life and um, they've been through everything that you're about to start or about to um, head into and they can um, either teach you 
that you know you shouldn't be doing this you should do this whatever and it's very important to have a mentor i've had multiple people um who've helped me in different aspects of my life um i've had amazing surgeons like dr solar dr shahid sami dr um mahim dr munir and dr shahab all of these have really helped me a lot in um being who i am being a really amazing surgeon i've had spooner um when i was doing my fellowship um i had dr zubair i had gorpade who helped me be the minimally invasive surgeon that i am then i've had a lot of uh, congenital surgeons like dr mahim dr asim asif dr asim who mentored me to be the pediatric surgeon i am similarly i've had people who have actually mentored me as a person i've had dr sadaf who taught me a lot i've had dr athar who helped me a lot so i'm an amalgam of all of these people and um having one potential mentor is a wrong question i think because there's no one person who shapes your life there are a lot of people who will help you in different aspects of life um who will teach you about very simple things you um, for you to be a personality or a person you don't you you're not go- just going to be a surgeon right you will need help in your family life you will need help in your um mental life you will ha- need help uh, in a lot of aspects of your life so every person um you're actually your your parts of all of those people that help you along so don't give up um people will keep on coming to you and saying ki cardiac surgery khatam ho rahi hai aur um koi scope nahi cardiac surgeon ka to main aapko batati hu cardiac surgery is not just car- the cardiac surgery jo purane zamane mein hoti thi ki ek banda hota tha wo sari cheeze karta hota tha now it's divided into a lot of different groups you can be a minimally invasive surgeon you can be a thoracic surgeon you can be a congenital adult surgeon you can be a congenital cardiac surgeon you can be a new uh, neonatal cardiac surgeon you can be um uh somebody who is specialized in cardiac surgery and then you can do an icu fellowship so there are so many avenues that you can go to so do not give up number one yes it's a really um taxing situation where you know you have um a lot of um pathways to follow a lot of things to do but you will find somebody um make sure that you find a mentor who would help you through it um there will be a lot of hardships that you're going to face but If you want to do this if you uh, are passionate enough you will get there no matter what um just do not give up